Good morning, guys. I should have left 20 minutes ago, but upon leaving, there was a spider in my bag. And I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I am being cursed by spiders. And I am absolutely terrified of spiders. I don't really want to admit that on the internet, but the last couple of days, the amount of spiders I have seen. I had an issue the other day. One fell from the ceiling on top of me onto my desk. Never saw it again. I don't know if that was one that was in my bag. Anyway, this was not the morning I wanted to have, but now I have to repack and get the hell out of here because I have a flight to catch. Let's go. I'm halfway to the airport. I'm stopping at Dunkin'. My favorite drink from Dunkin' is the sugar plum latte iced, and they only have it in the winter time. The Dunkin' where I live makes it for me year round, but they don't do it in California. They only do it out here in Colorado. But it's been a couple weeks since I've been here, so I'm still hoping they'll make it for me, but I don't know. I was crushed when I was in California back in March and they wouldn't do it. We're gonna pray because I've been craving it. Let me go ahead and order. Hi, would you guys still be able to make the sugar plum latte? Uh, we don't have the sugar plum latte no more. Oh no, okay. Thank you. I'm so sad. It's officially not sugar plum season anymore. The guy that normally does it isn't working. Maybe that's why. Maybe he just does it because he's nice. But oh well, what are you gonna do? Anyway, the whole reason why I'm going on this trip, I don't think I ever talked about it, and the whole reason why we're doing this vlog is John's 25th birthday is tomorrow. Today is Friday, April 23rd. His birthday is April 24th. So tomorrow is his quarter life crisis. He's super excited not he hates his birthday but i go all out every year because that's just the type of fiance i am i'm also surprising him with our engagement photos tomorrow morning so that's exciting I'm putting down the viewfinder because i don't want them to see that i'm vlogging thank you you as well I really didn't know what to order because I felt a lot of pressure, so I don't know if it's going to be good or not. I also need to get gas, so let's do that. Well, as my gas pumps, I'm going to try this. I have no idea what's in it. It just says Charlie Cold From Cold Brew Oat Milk. It looks like there's cinnamon on the top. It literally just tastes like Starbucks. <laughs> Sorry, Duncan. It doesn't taste very special. But one hour to the airport and then on our way to California. the birthday boy we're waiting until it's midnight <laughs> baby happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday love bug thank you baby how old are we today 22 25 baby's the big two five quarter life crisis guys baby's halfway to 50 halfway to 30 <laughs> i said that earlier in the car i was like you're halfway to 30. look at everyone be celebrating I didn't update earlier, but I did get here. I'm here for <laughs> I didn't his, update, but I'm here. I'm here for his birthday. He slightly ruined one of his birthday presents. What? Because. Excuse me? Well, because. Oh, Kevin, just send me a paragraph. Aw, oh, how sweet. I can read it. I'm here for you. Happy 25th birthday, John. Hopefully, you have better things to do than read this text at midnight. Enjoy your birthday and don't let others interfere and mess it up for you. You are certainly more than capable of doing that all by yourself. The fact that he sent that on time means that he sat and watched the clock and took the time to write that out it. before midnight. That's sweet though. Yeah. We're gonna get ready for bed right now because in approximately four hours and 30 minutes, we have to get up for one of his birthday surprises. I don't know what's going on guys. If you guys know, just let me know. I don't know, we have to be up in four hours. It's six in the morning, we have to be somewhere. I feel like I'm getting kidnapped. Basically, I literally took him shopping today and didn't let him pick anything out. I was like, you're gonna wear this and you're gonna wear this. Which is like a normal shopping day with her. Like, I don't get to pick anything. I just go with- He the would never go shopping if it wasn't for me. Insane. Where are we? Sinesta, our favorite hotel. Like I said, we stay here all the time for every special event. But I had a plan 
to get him a room for his birthday. I booked a room a couple weeks ago, a surprise, and then I got off the flight today and he said, guess we're going. Sinesta. <laughs> so we showed up at the front desk and he checked in and I was like, actually, we actually have a reservation tomorrow under my name as well. So that surprise is slightly ruined also because the present that was supposed to be here for tonight, technically your birthday, um, that was supposed to get here yesterday, still hasn't come. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that. Well, for the hotel thing, I just thought about it. I was like, she's only here for a couple of days. We're gonna spend all these three days at the, our favorite hotel and stay here for three nights and just enjoy all of it instead of just bouncing from one place to another, stay in one place for the whole thing. Yeah, happy birthday, love Thank you, sweetheart. Thanks for everything. You make every year older worth it. We were born in the same year. We're six months apart. So it's actually kind of fun because every year older we get to grow, we grow together. I agree. And put in mind, everything good happens in my life happens because of you. Oh, that's just so sweet. I love you, sweetheart. Isn't that crazy? We met when we were 22. We did, holy shit. We Soon enough, we'll be 30. We started dating when we are 22, and now you're 25 and we're engaged! But we're gonna get ready for bed, and then I am gonna give him one of his presents, just because I feel, I feel like it, so. Be right back. Good morning. It's a couple hours later, and we got all of two hours of sleep, and he still has no idea where we're going, so that's fun. Right now, really debating my decisions. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I know this is gonna be fun. We're gonna look back and be so glad we did this, but I am very tired. Baby, you still love me? We'll see after we're done with this. It's okay, I'm gonna get you a snack to hold you over, maybe. Yeah. Come here, I wanna show you something. Yeah, you trying to get me out? Come here, I wanna show you something. up until 2 a.m. last night. Jeez. Gosh. Someone's getting sassy. Good morning. He's not very happy with me. I promise this will be worth it. Tell me your boyfriend loves you without actually telling me your boyfriend loves you. Okay, do you want me to show you what I'm wearing so you can kind of gauge your outfit around that? Well, I don't have much of a choice. I want to show you my inspiration photo, but that'll just give it away. No, I didn't just wear mine. Check back in when we're ready to leave. John has not seen me yet, and he still has no idea what we're doing, so I'm gonna go show him. This is a Johnny Wass dress, and I just curled my hair and did like really natural makeup, although I'm like, getting really hot, so. Okay, I'm gonna go show him. Is that my phone? Like? Yeah, of course it's your phone. Send me the clip. Okay guys, it is 5.40 in the morning, and he has slowly started to crack the code, so I'm just gonna tell him. I was gonna wait until when we got there, but he's kind of starting to figure it out. So I think I'm just gonna tell him. <laughs> you wanna see much of crew on Mars, like. Okay, what do you think it is? Okay, right, actually, what did you think it was? Or what did your work friends think it was? And then what did you think it was? And then what do you think it is now? Well, a couple of my work friends, they thought it would be a, a hot air balloon, which is, I pray to God you don't do that. He hates heights. I don't like heights. Other people said it's going to be the Catalina Express. That wasn't, I was like, oh, maybe, I don't know. But then he gave me the address and I was like, you're doing a photo shoot. Because and why? Why did you know from the address? Because you're not you're not doing a sunrise photo shoot. But not this beach. Yeah, but, but it's, this beach is special to us. That's why we're going here. I believe we had our first date over there. Yeah, we had one. Of, we had our, I think it was our second date when with we Tom there. and yeah. him at Corona del Mar. So we're going to Corona del Mar. I technically proposed by Corona del Mar. Like he proposed right in front of Corona del Mar. So, so it's really special <coughs> to us. And so, what do you think we're doing? I think we're doing an engagement photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Are we? So the reason that I chose this, literally, I pulled this together in two days. Like this was not. <laughs> This was not supposed to be what we were doing for his birthday at all, but every plan we've had so far has been canceled. And we also haven't been able to celebrate our engagement at all. Yeah. So I thought for us, it'd be really special if we had like professional photos taken. I hired a photographer, like, and this is a photographer I've actually wanted to work with for a really long time. And I'm 
just got really lucky that she was one of the best like wedding photographers in Orange County. Okay. And I she just happened to have an opening this morning. Okay. And I'm really excited. But like, yeah, we don't have any like we don't have any photos. professional like engagement photos, so that'll be nice to have. We have no photos with like our friends or family. We've haven't been able to celebrate yet. We haven't been able to like yeah. toast champagne or anything. And so I thought like just for us, just have like the memory of it. I agree. That we would get these photos taken, and then I thought we could put them. I haven't thing. done a photo shoot in a while. Woo! I thought we'd put them on the thing above our bed. Yeah. And replace those photos and then yep. fill in with resin. Yep. I agree. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you, Bobas. Your lips are glossy. I know. I can't breathe. You. you stuffy. Anywho, um, we have Red Bull and we're gonna go get our engagement photos taken. Yes! And then we're gonna put him back to bed because he's cranky. No, we're gonna give him some food. Yeah, he wants IHOP, so we're gonna get him IHOP. I don't have IHOP. Well, we'll figure that out when we get there. Okay, well, we will see you when we get there. Right there, if you can see the buoy, is the buoy with the seals. Yep. That's one that I got so excited about. And then right over there into the harbor is where he proposed. It was really fun. It's very loud. Emma Stone was really nice. Our photographer looked just like Emma Stone. Like identical. The tide's getting really high, but it's so pretty. High. We're gonna get breakfast and go back to the hotel and take a long, Aww. much needed nap. Is it good? The avocado? Yeah. Okay. So it's 8.45 right now. We did go get breakfast and we sat down at the table and ordered and then as we were waiting for our food, we were both falling asleep and we said, let's just get it to go. So we came back. He got some spicy... Poblano. Egg something or another. Poblano something. And I just got eggs and hash browns and some pancakes. But the birthday boy, and me included, not just him, um, we're exhausted. So I think we are going to just really take today to relax. I do have some schoolwork to do, and we're just tired. Like, we just want to enjoy the day and, like, sleep. But this morning was really fun. It was worth it. Was it worth it? 100%. I really enjoyed it. This is the in my mouth. Chef with you whenever we get up. Yep. What are we eating, birthday boy? Uh, I tuna salad, Cajun dressing, balsamic on the salad, and sweet potato fries. People think tartar sauce it is disgusting. So Y'all don't know what you're talking about. It's 4 p.m., so we definitely slept for a while. And we were just going to get Starbucks because it's his birthday, you get the free one. But then we were like, we passed our favorite restaurant and we decided to come here, so. Let me think about it. We have a lot of good restaurants that we like. Last year, like during the pandemic, we used to get food to go from here all the time. One of our favorites. And I think we're gonna go to the pool. Yeah. yeah. Love you so much. I almost just got you in the face. Birthday boy. So, how's your birthday been so far? A birthday? Birthday's been great. It's been beautiful, it's been amazing. You flew all the way here to celebrate with me and it's just been absolutely memorable, romantic, and unforgettable. <laughs> I like you as well. Right now, we're gonna go to the pool. Which is funny because I never can get him to go to the pool with me. He doesn't like to go to the pool with me ever. And then we're gonna watch HGTV. We absolutely love home renovation shows. Okay. 
and then just like an update so his birthday surprise was supposed to be i was gonna come to the hotel and check in early and then have a cake and some balloons and his two presents which i've already given him around his one present that unfortunately did not show up in time which i'm really sad about because it was supposed to come between the 22nd and the 24th and i bought it off etsy and the seller said that it would be here on time because i told her that i was ordering it for his birthday didn't come yesterday I thought it was gonna come this morning, didn't come this morning, and then I tracked it, and it says it's not gonna be here until Monday, and I leave. It's a present where, like, he can't just open it. I mean, I guess, like, you could, but you'd be like, what is this? It requires slight assembly on my part, and it's, like, birthday-themed, and then his birthday isn't gonna be his birthday anymore on Monday. What's gonna be birthday? And so that whole thing was, like, ruined, so we don't really have any plans anymore because whatever but i still want to get like a cake or something at least a dessert and sing happy birthday and celebrate him because he deserves every single thing in the whole wide world everything good happens in my life happens because of you oh, that's so sweet you can cry okay let's go pull okay let's go pull sorry Okay. <laughs> Guys, one thing I know about me, I don't like people. I just don't like people. I don't like people. I deal with people, I don't like people. Simple as that. Go to the pool, and we're, I thought we we're the only one in the fucking hotel. Yesterday we were the only ones here. Like, you know, 10,000 feet underwater, you know, next to a fucking broken shipwreck. People are still gonna find us. We go to the pool and there's 20 kids. And yeah, whatever. I think there's like an event or something today, and so there's a whole bunch of people, and they're only allowing 10 people at the pool, 10 people out the pool as it is because of COVID, which obviously isn't upheld because there were many more people not down at the pool, but they were mostly kids. So that was a big fat fail. So on to adventure number two, whatever that may be. <laughs> uh, Good morning. Good morning. They put more cold foam this time than yesterday. We found a new Starbucks drink and it tastes exactly like milk tea boba. So if you want it, here's a recipe. It's a black, black iced tea. tea with almond milk Love instead of water, mm -hmm. brown sugar syrup, cold foam on top, and light ice. And it tastes exactly like a milk tea boba. And it's so good. Anywho, we are running errands right now. We do have a meeting with our potential wedding planner at 11.30, which is in an hour. We were gonna go to brunch at Broken Yolk, which is one of our favorite places. There was a 45 minute wait, and then we passed a Chick-fil-A, and I was like, ooh, Chick-fil-A sounds really good. So where are we going? chick-fil-a no don't even are they closed oh my god i'll be laughing so fucking hard right now if they're closed holy shit oh my god it's happening we canceled our reservation berlin are they really close uh it would appear so but sunday oh my god chick-fil-a oh close is sundays well um it's we're gonna up. <laughs> we canceled our reservation for this well We'll update you when we figure out what's happening. <laughs> I'm so hungry and heartbroken right now because Chick fil A sounded so good. This is so upsetting. So we made its broken yolk and the food finally came. John's never been happier. <laughs> I'm not talking to you right now. Oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. So it's actually the day that I leave. I leave in like an hour. Anywho, we're not gonna talk about that. But yesterday, we were supposed to meet up with Olivia and we both just kind of had too much schoolwork so it didn't end up happening. So we did meet with the wedding planner, which we briefly talked about beforehand and it went really good. <laughs> and then we had a drink with his mom, kind of talked about some wedding stuff, got Pizza Hut, watched a movie and then i ended up falling asleep and he left at midnight to go meet some of his friends because they had like a surprise for him and then he comes home at like what time did you get home 1 30 wakes me up and he has this like massive bag of gifts and he's wearing a captain hat and i was like what happened last night it's a bachelor party <laughs> So, he's gonna show you all the fun goodies he got for his birthday from his friends. First things first, this birthday wouldn't be the same without the person shooting this video right now. Thank you for everything. Aww. You made it memorable and just amazing, just all the way around, so thank you. Thank you for everyone who pitched money in for this gift. They got me the DJI, I think it's Mavic Air 2. I got the full thing, waterproof case, and I also, you went above and beyond and got me 
the DJI Smart Controller. Uh, you don't need your phone. This has antennas. You connect it to the aircraft, and it shows automatically on it. And you just control it from here, and you don't need to have your phone on it. So you can just this is gonna be your phone. Honestly, it's it's an amazing gift. Do you know me? And do you know that I like planes and aircrafts and stuff? And you get me this one. It's, it's very nice and generous. So thank you, Peter, and Jeremy, and Kevin, Dad, and Joey, and everyone that helped and made this happen. Thank you for everything. He's charging the drone tablet thing right there. He did take the drone out already and like slightly assemble it. That's the camera, like this big thing right here is the camera. I don't know what they're doing out there, but my last request for today was I want to get a McFlurry before I go to the airport. I just, I want a McFlurry. So we're gonna go get a McFlurry right now and then it's time to head to the airport. They look weird. For one, they just didn't mix them. It's like coffee. It smells like coffee too. Oh yeah, it does smell like coffee. Well, also, the cups are pink. I've never seen the cups no, pink. No. Well, it's officially 9.30 in the morning. We got McFlurries. All good, all's good. All is well in the world, everyone. So this clip was once we got to the airport, me and John saying goodbye. And I wanted to include this in this vlog because this is honestly the reality of what the last six months have looked like for me and for John and just for our relationship in general. I don't normally post this. I have made one TikTok about it, but it has honestly been some of the hardest couple of months of my life. It's really easy to post on social media and to make vlogs, make videos, go to work every day, smile, pretend like everything's fine. And honestly, everything is fine. I mean, I'm the happiest I've been probably in my entire life, but this is genuinely the reality. Every single time I see him, this is what it looks like at the end of our trip. And I don't post that because it's even hard watching these clips right now and I cry even just thinking about it. But missing someone, missing anyone is one of the most painful things to go through and having to say goodbye every couple of weeks is awful. And this is what we've been doing for the past six months. So this was us at the airport saying goodbye and Luckily, we're almost done with this, but I've had to do this quite a few times the last couple of months. So behind every great vlog I've posted or every fun photo you've seen on my Instagram, there's been a video like this on my phone or on my camera that I haven't posted of me crying or of us hugging and crying and having to say goodbye. And that's just the reality of having to do long distance for a little bit. But he's my whole world. He's my rock and I love him to death and I wouldn't change these moments for the world. Good morning once again to our customers who are traveling in flight to 607 with service to Grand Junction here at 821. Design will begin the boarding process for Allegiant flight to 607 with service to Grand Junction here at 821. 
and we would like to invite customers needing extra time or assistance to board. Well, I'm back in Colorado. The flight went by fast. I think that after doing this for the last six months, it would get easier. And I think for a time it did. For a little bit, I was trying to get used to it. But this trip was definitely, I think, the hardest to say goodbye. I'm having a hard time right now. If anything, it's just really made me realize how badly I want this all to be over with. This makes me feel feels so empty like a part of me is missing and it went by way too fast i'm over it i don't want to be here anymore i just want to be where i belong i want to feel like i belong somewhere and uh, i want to feel safe and the constant back and forth having to say goodbye like really invalidates those feelings and makes it hard to feel anything close to that so hopefully in the next couple of weeks We'll have a plan of when this will all be over. That's the update for now and then I have a good almost three hour drive back and uh, I'll update you then. <laughs> update. It's not 4.06 so just a casual like I don't know two and a half hours later. I'm in Montrose. I had to go to the bank because there is a large fraud charge on my debit card, like $250, and their system was down, so I couldn't do it. And then I wanted to get my hair cut. Every single hairdresser I went to was booked, except for the last one I decided to go to. So I did just get my hair cut, and then my mom called me and said that their system at the bank is back up. So I'm gonna go back to the bank and pray that I can get a new card and get the charge reversed so I can get that money back. And I also did get coffee because I was freaking falling asleep and driving. Not literally, but like I just was so bored. I didn't want to be driving. So I got a cold brew with espresso and then I want to just go home and relax. I have a lot of schoolwork to do, so I'm going to do some of that, but it feels so good to get my hair cut. I can't even explain to you. I haven't gotten my hair cut in over a year. My ends were so dead and split and disgusting. So it feels really nice to have a good fresh start. I kind of wish I would have done this before our engagement photos because I'm a little worried about how it turned out. I was looking at the one clip that we got from them which was us sh popping the bottle of champagne and my hair looked hella questionable because when I got there my hair looked great but it was super humid so after like 20 minutes my hair was super flat all of the curls just straightened out basically and then by the end of it we were like rolling around in the sand running we were in the water at one point so my hair was a wreck and my hair looked so bad by the end of it but I'm sure there are plenty of good photos but I do kind of wish I would have gotten my hair done beforehand. Anywho, let's go to the bank so I can go home. Okay, I am finally heading home. My hair has dried for the most part and it feels so much shorter but I'm not mad at it. Like I don't like my hair short in the slightest but it feels a lot healthier which I am appreciative of and it also feels very light. It definitely needs to be brushed because it's so windy outside but it feels good. I did get the fraud on my card figured out Got my hair cut, got my Starbucks. Really wanted to get the puffy lime chip, sobrero, I don't know what they're called. I don't know, this really good snack chip that I like, but I couldn't find it at the store. But what I did find is the Zaps Voodoo Chips. If you've ever had these, I've only seen them at Nordstrom. Like they sell them at the Nordstrom Cafe. And I found a big bag of them, which I'm so excited about. And Kettle Chip came out with a new brand, Truffle and Sea Salt. I love truffle oil. And I think these will be really good with the jalapeno artichoke dip that I'm obsessed with. So we're gonna give that a go later, but I have an hour drive back and then I'm home and then I can just lay down and really I'm gonna get most of my schoolwork done because I have my second shot next weekend my second covid shot and i'm really scared so i want to get all my schoolwork done that i can so that i don't have to worry about that if i'm not feeling very well my mom got her second shot on john's birthday and she's feeling totally fine like she went to work today and john's mom got her second shot the day before and she is not feeling so hot she did not go to work today that'll probably be another video i might vlog that weekend and see how i hold up but anyway i'm headed home so we'll end off the vlog when i get there can i open it now yeah Okay, so I got this one. It says thank you for your order. Because
because of you, a small business owner is dancing very badly around the house. When you support a small business, you're supporting a tree. Open it. Oh shit! It's, <laughs> it's your birthday! That's just great! Yeah, it's David. I know! Oh my god, it's so cute! Yeah, because remember, I told you I was supposed to have the room decorated and I was, there was gonna be a bottle of wine with that, and then balloons with the two pictures and frames wrapped and then a cake yeah like all nicely like set up and like none yeah. of that happened so hey. and there's poor connection amazing now you just have a sticker that says oh shit it's your birthday I'm a now you just have a sticker that says oh shit it's your birthday what are you asking me it's it's not your fault Okay. okay guys it is later in the day actually much later it's almost 11 p.m so i think i am going to finally end off this vlog if you did enjoy it go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join my family and that bell notification to be notified every single time i do post a new video but on that note i will see you guys next week with an all new vlog bye